Welcome to the Carnival Horizon. We'll start at the top of the ship and deck 15. Welcome to the Serenity Deck. This is the adults only area. There are a lot of loungers, very comfortable chairs and seating, and they have two hot tubs, one on each side of the ship, plus a bar. They also have a salad bar where you can get some small bites right here at the bar and they do have places where you can eat. There's tables and chairs. There's also some really great seating here at the front. They have some umbrellas and some clamshell chairs and loungers and it's really a great place to catch some sunshine and also just check out the view. It's really nice. All right, this is the other side of Serenity and we're gonna head back towards the slides. This is the level where you get on the slides and it does overlook the splash zone and the pool and all the activities down below. Next up is deck 14. And this is where you're gonna find the beauty salon on the ship. Next up is deck 12. And this is where you're gonna find the spa and the fitness center. And right outside on deck 12, you're gonna find the Dr. Seuss Waterworks, which is where all the splash things are and where the slides come out. It's a great little spot and it overlooks the pool. Let's go check it out. I really do like this level because you can overlook the pool. You can also get a great view of the ocean without all the plexiglass. And there are walkways that go all the way to the back of the ship on both sides of this pool area. Here's where you're gonna find the jogging track. And of course, a lot of fun activities including the mini golf and the basketball. And if you go up the stairs at the back of the ship, you're gonna find the sky ride and the sky course. So this is where you can ride the little bicycle in the sky and you can also do the ropes course, which is a lot of fun. All right, and you can find a great view of the aft pool back here, you guys, which is great. Yes, and we're gonna head down to deck 11. And I love this deck too. This is the aft pool area and there's a lot of seating area. Sometimes it's nice to just get your pizza from below, bring it up here and just chill. And just inside in the doors, we have Cucina del Capitano, which is a classic Italian restaurant plus Gigi's Asian restaurant. And from the back of the ship, we're gonna actually go back on deck 11 so I can show you some of the seating areas all the way to the main pool. And Deck 11 has Camp Ocean Playground for the kids. And alongside, they do have some loungers and some comfortable chairs. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorites coming up here right by the main pool. Here we are, you guys. These are some of the most comfortable chairs. You usually get a breeze and you have your cushiony chairs with your foot rest and you can just watch all the activities down below on the pool deck. If it's crowded, don't underestimate coming out here in the evening or at night when the stars are out and sometimes they play 
a movie or you just want to sit and just chill, it actually is one of my favorite places on this ship. And inside by the elevator lobby, you're going to find the kids clubs right here, very convenient. Next up is Deck 10. And this is where you're going to find the Lido Marketplace, which is the buffet. They do have a deli in here and it is a really nice, cool place to sit if you want to get out of the heat. It's so nice to be able to have a beverage station, very convenient in here. So if you get thirsty any time of day, you can come and get some water, which is really nice. All right, through the buffet, we're gonna go to the aft pool. And they do have Seafood Shack and Pizza Del Capitano, so you can grab some food back here. And you also do have a bar and of course a pool and some hot tubs. So it's a great little place to hang out. All right, we're gonna go check out the main pool, which is on the other side of the buffet. All right, you have Blue Iguana Cantina for your tacos and burritos. And on the other side, you have Guy's Burgers. And very convenient, right by the pool is the Red Frog Rum Bar. This is a great little place to get your delicious tropical drinks. And while the pool area is very busy, there are a lot of loungers, a lot of chairs along the side, even where you don't have to lay down. And of course, the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. And that is deck 10. Nine, eight, and seven are Kevin decks, so we are gonna head to deck six. And here's where you're gonna find the arcade and the teen club and also the IMAX theater. So for $5 a ticket, you can come and watch some fun movies. Next up is deck five. In deck five, you will see the atrium shops and it surrounds the atrium lobby here. So you can see all the way down to deck three and the bar down there, but there are a lot of different shops. So of course there's a lot of stuff you wanna buy and take home with you after your cruise. You'll find it here. Down the hallway, you're gonna find the library and also the piano bar, which is a lot of fun. Also, Banzai Sushi, which is delicious. And the Steakhouse and the Alchemy Bar. Down the hallway past the Alchemy Bar, you're gonna find the area where you can buy your pictures. And then of course, next door is Pig and Anger, which is a really, really fun bar.
they often have karaoke here and it is a lot of fun there's a lot of great energy so i suggest check it out next to pick an egg you're going to find java blue which is the coffee shop they have espresso drinks and of course a lot of fun treats and it's right next to ocean plaza which is where you're going to find a lot of those shows trivia and a lot of music it's a lot of fun And this is a really popular place, of course, because there's tons of activities here. They do have a snack bar at certain times of the day at the back there, and they do have a bar, which is really nice and convenient. Past Ocean Plaza, you're gonna have the Havana Bar, which is a really fun place to have drinks and listen to live music. All right, back from Ocean Plaza, we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you some of the seating they have out here on the promenade. It's great, it's a nice place to come with your book or your coffee and just relax. And uh, let's just check it out. Next up is deck four. And on deck four, you're gonna find the Meridian Restaurant, which is one of the main dining rooms. And also down this hallway, you're gonna find the Limelight Lounge, which is where they do the comedy and karaoke and some other activities. The chairs are pretty comfortable and it's a great little spot. And down this long hallway, you're going to find the sports bar and the casino. And just beyond the casino, you'll find more atrium shops. And they do have some comfortable seating around the atrium here, so you can catch a show or listen to music right from this deck. And at the end, you're gonna find Liquid Lounge, which is the main theater, and you're gonna find all the major shows here, plus bingo and other fun activities. Next up is deck three. And here's the atrium. I love this little spot. Comfortable seating, fun bartenders, convenient bar and very good performers right here in this spot a very fun place to hang out for an evening it's nice and cool and of course you have shore excursions and guest services very convenient on this level
And lastly, they also have the Reflections main dining room on this level as well. And that concludes my tour today, you guys. Thank you so much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon.